I'm excited to see what this room. Oh my god, pink much? <gasps> so awesome. This video is brought to you by all my Patreon supporters. Go team awesome. High quality touch glove. Lol. Welcome to 14 things to do in a love hotel. In this video, I'll show you how much fun you can have at an adult hotel. But first, here's what a love hotel is for those who don't know. A love hotel is a hotel popular in Asia for couples to escape and enjoy a night or a few hours for some romance or what the Japanese call love love. Here are some reasons that love hotels are used. They have a romantic decor or mood. They're perfect for people who can't make love at home because they still live with their parents or roommates. They're used by couples trying to spark their love life. They are a discreet place to go for those who have secret love affairs, extramarital relations, or hire escorts. They need a place to stay after public transportation is closed. Recently, they're also a popular place for groups of girls or guys to just go and hang out. Here's how to use a love hotel. Step 1. Enter the lobby. Front, and as you can see, you can't see the face and they can't see you. Step 2. Go to the screen and choose the room you like. Rest or stay? Step 3. When you choose the room, you can choose either overnight or short stay. Step 4. Get the ticket and go to the room. Step 5. Enjoy the room. Holy crap. Step 6. The door won't open unless you use the checkout machine, so once you're ready to check out, use the machine in the room to pay. It doesn't open, and even if I press the unlock, it doesn't open because you can't escape here until you pay. So when you're ready to check out, that's when you would come here, check out, so press that. And step seven, exit. The door should open. Oh, I'm free. Yeah. So now you know what a love hotel is and the reasons people visit. Whatever your reasons, here are some things to do while you're there. Number one. Watch Hollywood movies. Big flat screen TV has video on demand and has a variety of new and not so new movies to watch. You can go to PC. Um, it's kind of old school PC, so you can use it, but I don't know. Most people probably don't use that. Here's if you want to watch like video on demand Hollywood kind of movies. I watched Downsizing. It was pretty good. Two, watch AV movies. The AV or the adult video list is huge compared to Hollywood movies. Tons of movies from Japan and other countries, also separated by most watched, new, and genres. I enjoyed the adult version of E.T. I had no idea Elliot and E.T. were that close. Number three, rent and try on cosplay. Usually free or only about 300 yen, you can choose to rent a cosplay for both men and women. Do you want to be a nurse, a police officer, sexy maid? I decided to be an AKB idol. Four, get a massage. Some rooms come with massage chairs or other rental back, neck, and foot massagers as well. And I found this. What the F is this, guys? It's some kind of like boot massager thing. Might as well get that too. Love hotels are great, even if you're alone. This is awesome. I got my massage boots and my heated iPad, which is, oh, it's actually pretty nice and posty. Ah. Uh. Number five, take a jacuzzi bath. Probably the best thing about love hotels is the bath. They have good water pressure, strong bubble jets, colorful lights, bubble bath and bath powders, and even bath toys. And it's one of those modern toilets that come with a lot of stuff, but there's the gadgets for the bathroom. This room is the toilet on its own. So you got the nice fancy toilet with the Japanese bidet style. Like a bathtub. This bathtub uh, 
Um, it's like a jacuzzi and stuff, bathtub, and it also has a TV here too, so you can watch TV. And um, I don't know what you would do here. Power of it. And it's going. Yay, I love pink things. <laughs> right. This is for the thing, hopefully it works. Whoa! 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 Oh my god! So the water and color is turned on and um, it's starting to bubble. And it smells really good, wow! Number six, eat food and desserts. Some hotels provide free drinks and desserts while others have an amazing menu of food, drinks and desserts for lower prices. Um, here's a steak. You get this free if you're a member. Actually, the food menu is pretty decent. Wow. Um, I'm not gonna try anything here. I got some food from Lawson, so I'm good. Alcoholic and an alcoholic. There's a listing here. And there's also um, coffee and tea here that you can have. There's a beer and Coke and tea and stuff. Um, number seven. Lobby drink bar and snacks. Most love hotels usually have a free drink bar and snack bar where you can take some to your room. Karaoke. It's not as popular as before, but some hotels still provide a karaoke machine and microphones so you can sing in your room if that's your thing. You can do karaoke on this big screen right here. Right? Number 9. Enjoy the king size bed. Since space is limited, most Japanese apartments or hotels have futons or smaller beds, but love hotels usually have a big king size bed and sometimes even in different shapes. Some of them vibrate and rotate. Number 10, enjoy the mood lighting. To set the mood for romance, the rooms have a touch panel with four or five different mood lighting styles to suit your needs. And then there's different kinds of lighting, so let's try B. Oh, it kind of got dimmed, so as you can see it's dark. The master control of everything. This controls all the different lighting, you can get different moods of lighting. Air conditioner, radio that plays throughout the room and in the bathroom. Number 11, listen to satellite radio. The TV and the touch panel usually also have satellite radio with hundreds of music types. So if you like getting down to polka, it's not impossible. 12. Free amenities. Besides the free drink and snacks in the hotel lobby, the hotel also provides a variety of amenities in the rooms like robes, slippers, coffee, tea, water, shampoos, lotions, mouthwash, and other hygiene products. Chargers, if you want to charge your phone, there's different kinds. There's, of course, protection that you should use, definitely. Um, tissues. Products like strawberry flavored condoms. Coffee. There's a coffee maker. There's a hair dryer for the girls. There is a DVD player. A microwave and coffee maker and stuff. There's a nice big screen TV. Um, there's actually a computer, wow, that's cool. There's a whole bunch of like face washes and face cream, even for men. There's face wash, there's mouthwash, um, that's a good idea. Toothbrushes, hairbrushes, cups, hair dryer, hair curler. Swashes and ladies amenities and toothbrushes. There's hair dryers and curlers. Um, there's different kinds of lotions and stuff like that. Buy an adult toy for pleasure, which are also available for purchase in the room. Fashion shopping, and I'll just do a quick thing because you can kind of guess what's in there. Um, sells, uh, yeah, goods for having fun. Different kinds of um, machinery, let's call it. Number 14, make love. The most important and obvious is to have sexy times with your partner. The room is decorated with colorful wallpaper or paintings, interesting images and furniture to add to the ambiance. And the theme you choose helps you really get into the mood. Hotel Amour. 
Hotel Le Lisa. Okay. Cassandra Hotel. Hotel 15 Love. Hotel Diamond. Right next to Hotel Zero. Hotel Paris. So just make sure you know what kind of mood you're in. Do you want a dungeon style contraption? A Hello Kitty world? Hefner pad. There's something for everyone. Well, there you go. 14 things you can do at a love hotel. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, speaking of love, this is my new book. It's called Swipe Right for Love. It's a romantic comedy novel about online dating. I guarantee you will enjoy reading, so check it out. It's also a perfect gift for Valentine's Day, so you can get the ebook or paperback at Amazon. Links are in the description below. Also, you can either support me on Patreon or donate to me on PayPal to help me grow my channel. My Patreon gives you new videos every week, not available on YouTube, plus a whole bunch of other bonuses. And if you go to my channel in the banner next to my Patreon is a button that allows you to donate directly to my PayPal. If you want to help me pay for all these love hotels I've been visiting and to help me go to more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because they are awesome. Aussie awesome. Take care and see you next time. Peace. And I'm just going to have some me time. Yay!